My campaign to leave the town of Dildo is really heating up. You know, they ask a, a question of the week on the local news there and TV every week. And this is the question this week. In our MQO question of the week, we ask, do you think Jimmy Kimmel should run for mayor of Dildo? We'll have the results on Monday. Okay, well, it's Monday and the results are in and let's see how I did. And time now for the results of our MQO question of the week. This week we asked you, do you think Jimmy Kimmel should run for mayor of Dildo? And here's what you said. 52% of you said yes, 48% of you said no. Wow, that's a close one. <laughs> I'm not running against anybody. There must be some kind of Russian interference here because I mentioned that my advanced team touched down a dildo this weekend. They're distributing signs all over the community for supporters to post around town. You can see we got a sign there by the water. We've got signs on people's homes. We got it at the Dildo Brewing Company. They've uh, posted a sign and also outside the coffee shop, which is our official campaign headquarters. And let's go live to those headquarters now to Dildo Cove Coffee and Craft. Guillermo has landed. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, Guillermo. How's Dildo? Dildo is great. Fantastic. It is. Are you excited to be there? I'm very excited. People are here very friendly. I love Dildo. <laughs> Why does it sound like you're reading a script in a hostage video? No, never, Jimmy. That's from the bottom of my heart. Really? Because I saw a text exchange that you had with one of our producers, Jen. And uh, she said, hey, hey, let's put the text up. She said, hey, Guillermo, we're sending you to Dildo Wall next week. And you said, I think is bull <laughs> <laughs> And then she said, we have you booked on a red eye Sunday night. And you said, so is confirmed is bull <laughs> the whole week. Unbelievable. Is Jimmy. This... Yes. I was, I was drunk, Jimmy. <laughs> Well, that's... <laughs> How does that differ from... All right. Well, are you happier now that you're there? I'm very happy, Jimmy. It's so nice, so beautiful. Okay. What did your wife say when you told her you were leaving her for dildo? <laughs> <laughs> she told me, bring me something from dildo. Okay. <laughs> now, tell me about the town. What are your impressions so far? So far, it's so good, Jimmy. Everybody likes to say it's friendly, it's nice. It's a beautiful city here. Now, Andrew is next to you. Andrew Pretty, he's been helping us organize our campaign. Andrew, how is Guillermo fitting in? Is he doing a good job representing me? He was until we seen that text. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry, Guillermo. You'll only be there for a whole week explaining that text. It's OK, Jimmy. I like Dildo. Oh, OK. <laughs> Andrew, how's it going? How am I doing? How am I polling? I saw 52 to 48. I'm concerned. Well, the thing is, we don't have an electoral college, so uh, the, yeah. the, the majority vote goes up here, not the... <laughs> so... Okay. We know how that works for Trump. All right. <laughs> John is also there. John Reed he performed an original song last week. For... John, what was the name of the song? Just remind us. Oh, the Dildo song. The Dildo song. And, John, hey, I love that song. Have you been signed to a label yet? Have you been receiving any calls? No, no, but Jimmy, it's just like a pump by Eric in the place. We've got a big thing going here now. Oh. <laughs> uh, now, hey, I also see someone very special just behind Guillermo. We saw a news clip last week, and they asked the locals if they believed I was going to actually come to Dildo, and everyone said no except for one man, and that is this gentleman, my new best friend in Dildo, Brent. Hello, Brent. Yeah. Hey, Brent. How's it going? Actually, I am the Nug. Nug? You go by yeah. the... Oh. <laughs> Why do they call you Nug? Because I ain't shaped like a french fry. <laughs> I see. OK. <laughs> well, we're going to have a lot. What are we going to do for fun, Brent, when I get there? Oh, buddy, I got some spots to show you. You do? Good times. All right. Are you going to show Guillermo any of those spots? Oh, he's coming later on tonight after we leave here. OK. Hey, Guillermo. That's right. The hat and all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Guillermo, I love this so much. Well, thank you. Hey, Brent, thank you. Nug, thank you for your support. And John and Andrew and everybody there. 
I'm so glad to have you as part of the team. Can I count on you? Can I say you're part of the team? I see you're all wearing the hats and stuff. Yes? And you're going to go yeah. out and... And you're going to go out and bang on doors in the community. Hey, by the way, I, since I do a show, a late night show, I like it if you go knock on doors in the middle of the night. That seemed like it would be the best, right? <laughs> right, whatever you say, boss. And we're at... We're trying to institute some of your ideas. We already got the dill donuts. Oh, you got dill Dammy donuts. Dammy Kimmel. Well, they're not... Dammy Kimmel flavor. They're not the right shape, but yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I was thinking, yeah, something oblong, but... All right, well, guys, thank you so much. We're going to be checking in with you all week. Get out there and make me the mayor of this town. And we have to get going. The summer goes by fast. And Guillermo, you're in charge, all right? That's right. All right, good. Let's, we're going to start right now. Yeah. And let me just say one more thing. I know, I understand that I'm not Canadian, but I figure if we can have a dildo running America, why can't we have an American running dildo? Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.